Miss Grimshaw, have you seen Kane? Hello, son. Sorry, I haven't. I'm... Dear sir, you were once very kind to Beau and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully... Penelope Braithwaite. <clears throat> oh! Oh, you came! You came! You finally came! I came. Oh, thank you, thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, calm down, miss. Oh, come on, let's go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her! They killed Miss Calhoun! All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs! Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... or bows. Well, you met them. They're animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters! If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo. Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch us both, I ain't quite sure. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? Up to Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Let's go. Of course. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. Okay, let's try and get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up, or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can, makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. If he's there, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watch me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. And then all that business with Aunt Catherine and my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you'd think this could be a new beginning, but everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something good has to come out of this awful, awful feud. That's what I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and, and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty before you have. Plenty will again. But, yeah. As far as it goes, get out, don't look back, make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he, Bo? There he is. Oh, it's him. Will you ride on the train with us a little, just to the first stop? Fine. Seems to have them all shook up. Well, that comes with no surprise. You came! You came! At last you came! Oh, Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Bo, Arthur's gonna join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We, we can't chance being seen. Sure. Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. <clears throat> Come on. 
Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? Uh, of course. <sighs> oh, hello, sir. Hello, Alden. I hope all is well. Uh, not terribly, but good to see you. Hey, cousin. No, hey. Come no, on, you slow. Penelope, get back. Come on. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You don't want to come back here without giving you a whip? You should have done this last time. Get on the train, Mo. Go to your woman. Ah, oh, now there's only one of you. Quite a family you got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave. So, what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both our families. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah. Well, how do life? Oh, my lord. What? Oh, I think it's my second cousin. What is with it with all these goddamn cousins? I think they found out about the jewels. All right, you keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew... Ah! They're coming from over the hill. You must have all the jewels in this... Take the amount of your cousins is here. Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out.
Why have we stopped? It's best you go on alone from here. Mr. Arthur, I didn't know you could drive a train. Neither did I. But if I'm honest, it was kind of fun. <laughs> and I didn't kill any of us. Well, I killed some of your relatives, but they would have killed all of us. You are a gentleman, sir. <laughs> oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. Thank you. Now, let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Yeah? This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money, they'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, um, you carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much of a stage driver if I didn't. It goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is going to hold on to this until arrival. Hmm? On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. Yeah! Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and not inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Michael reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in Saint Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. <laughs> we don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us penned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. We need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, his law. These are wrongs that you can't write, Dutch. We're wanted men. Hmm. So why did you go for John against my wishes? I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he... He won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal, some noise, and then we're gone. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates.
I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency, and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement, and I intend to make it a success no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir, not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. You rob. I rob. Only difference I can see is I choose whom I kill and rob, and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you live. <laughs> I'll do no such thing! <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. You lost your man! Noise, Arthur! Noise! You know the down! Ah, oh, shit! Pinkertons! What the hell have you done, Dad? Come on! Mike is going after those papers! Let's find him and get out of here!
Cop here! Gun them down! And let's get the hell out of this place! Shoot them! from that coach! Let's go. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I'm killed too often and poorly, but not this time, son. Come on! <laughs> All right, let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to block us off. Go right! Okay. Interesting social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the Army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike, you look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. Getting out of here. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. This is crazy. <laughs> 